go live. I think we're live. Hi friends. Let's just get this set up here. And yes, I think we're live. Hi friends. How are you today? Um, I hope you're having a fabulous day. I certainly am because um, we're crafting again. Um, and today we're making two projects actually because we're going to do a little bit of a science experiment. We'll be crafty little scientists and we are going to compare uh, sublimation transfers and uh, inkjet uh, transfers um, uh, onto two different t-shirts so we can take a look and see them side by side. If you've ever been curious, I have, I've done both, but I haven't done them uh, like this before. So I'm excited to see uh, what it's gonna look like. And of course we're making um, St. Patrick's Day shirts. <laughs> so um, I've got some cute designs that are found in the Bundle of Bundles 4.0. Oh my gosh, this, this is like, I'm in love with this bundle. <laughs> It really is, um, you know, the bundle of bundles is always really popular because um, you get a little bit of everything and um, this one does, certainly does not disappoint. So um, I have that linked in the description if you want to check it out. I highly recommend it. Um, so if we've got some friends here, I would love for you to say hi um, and then we'll just go ahead and get started. Um, we are, uh, I think I'm going to start with the ink jet transfer first. So I've already printed it out. And yes, it's backwards. It's supposed to be backwards. Pinch proof. That's so cute. Um, and I, what I'm using is uh, Starcraft for Lights Inkjet Printable. So basically, you just put this into your regular inkjet printer, um, not a laser printer, not a sublimation printer, just, you know, your regular printer. Um, I don't have anything fancy. It's just a Canon Pixma. I think it was like the cheapest one I could find. Um, but it still turns out um, colors turn out pretty vibrant. And basically now what we're going to do is um, take it over to our heat press and press it onto a shirt. Well, actually, um, you want to read the instructions. Um, and so you want to always um, mirror the image, just like um, HTV, you're gonna flip it backwards and then trim away the excess material. So I'm just gonna do that with a pair of scissors. So let's just go ahead and just kinda trim around the edge here. Um, I, I suppose you could use your cutting machine to do this but I mean there's this um, is kind of like a distressed design I mean your your machine wouldn't really be able to cut that out very cleanly so this is probably the quickest way and transfers instead of you know using HTV allow you to do these types of designs where it's got a lot of detail to it um, you know, that distressed or grungy look, which might not be possible. You might not want to spend that much time weeding. <laughs> so um, this is a great option. Um, so let's just go ahead and I'm going to finish this up here. Um, we're going to be pressing on to um, a white t-shirt that I believe is a um, cotton and polyester blend. Um, and for this StarCraft printable, um, the only restriction you really have is um, this particular one, you need to um, do it on white or light materials. So um, that's what we have. Let me get the shirt. So it's just like a white um, little toddler tee and I think it's 60% um, cotton, 40% recycled polyester. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so let's go ahead over to the heat press. Whoops, I have that warming up right here. Oops, I am caught. Um, 
and a bunch of cords. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is my StarCraft uh, heat press. I love her so much. Um, oops, not tip over. And it is uh, heated up to 375. So, oh, hi, Sabrina. Thanks for joining me. Um, love to see you here. Okay, so we are pressing. It's warm in here. Okay, here we go. All right, so I've got this little shirt. So cute. And I'm going to move the microphone over here. And it tells you all the instructions like what to, you know, what to do and everything. So press for 30 seconds. And I like to use a pressing pillow. I always get good results when I do. So that's just my preference. I've already gone ahead and kind of set the, the pressure. You This um, says that you want heavy pressure, so I'm actually going to increase it a little bit. And I think that should be good. All right, so I'm just going to, you just lay it uh, face down. And I am going to secure it with some heat transfer tape just so it doesn't move and I don't get any like um, ghosting or anything. So just a second. So this is um, special heat transfer tape, heat resistant. So it can withstand these hot temperatures and this will help keep it in place. So. put it kind of near the top all right so I'm just gonna put one you can see it's kind of curling up a little bit so yeah let's keep it down another piece right here okay so then that should be good. I always cover it with um, some parchment. So that I'm always protecting my, um, the, the upper platen. I think that's a good idea. And then let's adjust this a little bit. Okay, perfect. All right, so then we are going to press. Okay, so for 30 seconds, um, 375 with heavy pressure. And then it says peel the backing while the image is hot. So we will do that. And then next up, we will be doing our sublimation transfer. So this is our inkjet just printed with um, my inkjet printer. Um, and then next up, we will try um, the sublimation to see what the differences look like. Okay, so there's that. Um, I am going to just try and get under here so I can just rip it up. Oh, cute. Cute, cute, cute. And I did miss a little bit at the top there. You can see that not all the ink transferred. And that's I think that's because I pushed um, some of the... Oh, cute. Pinch proof. Cute. But luckily, this is like a grungy design anyway. So that actually kind of lends itself well to the... Um, to the the look so um yeah fast easy no like you know special printer ink or anything 
think it turned out pretty cute. Um, and so let's go ahead and set that to the, to this side. And now what we're going to do is our sublimation printer. So sublimation, um, is a, a special printer and special ink that is designed to be used with, um, polyester. So this with, um, at least you get really get the best results on, um, white, like a hundred percent polyester, but you can do, um, like at least 65% polyester. So something like this, even though it's white, you would not um, get good results if you tried to sublimate on it because it's only 40% uh, polyester. Um, so here I have a long sleeved 100% um, polyester shirt. Um, so we are going to be doing this one and again we um, mirrored the design so you just do that in you know whatever um, you know software you're using I used um, Silhouette Studio and the sublimation printer I used is the Sawgrass 1000 so that allows me to print up to um, 11 by 17 um, and if you get the add-on bypass tray you can print even bigger than that so uh, oops I think this is the back oh no it's the front all right so you can print you know very big transfers I don't think this would have fit on a an eight and a half by 11 um, so I like to be able to do big designs. Okay, so that is that. But um, so we printed it on the special paper. Um, it looks a little dull right now. I'm actually gonna trim this. And that's fine. The heat, the ink is activated uh, by the heat and the pressure. So um, I actually wanna reduce the pressure a little bit because I think I've been pressing a little too, too much. And I think that, that should be good. So again, I'm gonna use the heat transfer tape. Um, these, uh, both of these designs um, are sublimation designs from the Bundle of Bundles. Um, but sublimation designs also make like really good um, stickers too. Um, but anything you can print really is um, something you can make um, into sublimation. Um, this just has like this really cool texture, you know, different kind of textures and stuff. Stuff you wouldn't be able to really mimic with HTV. Um, and then another one of the benefits of doing like a transfer, like sublimation or inkjet transfer is that Unlike HTV, um, it's not sitting on top of the fabric. It's, you know, kind of living inside of it. So it's definitely um, softer, I guess, you know, because you're not feeling that, you know, HTV over the fabric. Okay, so here we go. Now this, oops, I actually need to increase the temperature to 400 and the time is going to be 30 sec or excuse me um 60 seconds all right so just um put you know some uh, heat transfer tape at the top and the bottom and then i'm going to apply it to that um again you also want to mirror the design uh, so just, you know, in your design software, you just flip it horizontally. Um, and this is what we've done so far. I'm going to let this, uh, oops. Yeah, um, heat up. So um, the inkjet transfer was 30 seconds at 375 and the sublimation is going to be uh, 60 seconds at 400 um, and the, the um, color turned out really vibrant.
So I'm really happy with that. And then as for the care instructions for this, um, it recommends turning the garment inside out and washing in cold water, um, mild detergent, do not bleach, dry on low, recommended to hang dry. So very similar um, to um, if you had put HTV on your shirt. Um, when ironing, do not um, iron directly over the transfer. So this just kind of gives you that um, ability to do these really detailed um, designs with, um, you know, not having to worry about weaving that. Um, and then you can get different textures too. So this one, it's hard to see now because it print, the sublimation prints um, duller and then the, the ink is activated and it's brighter on the actual shirt. Um, but we've got like some gold in here and then there's like a texture um, of like sequins. And this here, um, I think this is like a glitter te texture too. So um, you really can do um, some really um, awesome stuff with these. And there are... Um, more of the St. Patrick's Day uh, sublimation designs in the bundle of bundles. Um, there's there's 10 sublimation designs total. Um, I know there's um, the uh, St. Patrick's Day, which is next week, so that's why I'm making these shirts. Um, and then, you know, basically anything you can print, you, you could sublimate to um, you know sublimate it because you're just printing it out so um all right so we're at 394 i think that's probably pretty good um let's make sure this is right right way around and let's go ahead and stick it down here and oh um one thing though is that if you want to, I'm using a pressing pillow and with a thin, with a thin shirt, sometimes the ink, or I have heard that the ink can um, seep through and then possibly get on your pressing pillow. So if you want to keep your pressing pillows nice and clean then um, put a piece of parchment under it so there we go and then i'm going to do a piece of parchment over the top as well so let's grab that And here we go. One minute. So um, we've got a little bit of time here. If you want to um, chat or if you have any questions, um, then um, fire away. Um, if you were just joining us, then welcome. I'm glad you're here. We're doing two different t-shirts, one with an inkjet transfer and one with a sublimation transfer on it. So we can just kind of see the differences um, or similarities. I've never done a side-by-side -side comparison before, so this will be fun. And uh, we'll get to see um, what, um, what, what it looks like. And um, yeah, with the ink shot transfer, basically just need an ink jet printer and your heat press. Um, sublimation though, you do need a uh, specialized sublimation printer. Um, I use the SG-1000, um, and I have that linked in the description, so you can check that out. If you are interested in sublimation, I know it's a really cool, whew, you can see the like, I don't know, could you see that little, little smoke? <laughs> this is hot, very, very hot. So, I am just going to... Take this and then just kind of rip it off. There we go. Okay, so um, wow, that looks <laughs> that looks really fun. Um, and I did get a little bit of a pressing line around this. I was reading that 
if you press it for a few more seconds um, with a little bit more pressure, um, you might be able to get those out. So I'm just going to press it for another five seconds, see if that does the trick. And oh yeah, yeah, that, that really helps a lot too. Okay, so, oh, it is hot. This was done, so I'm gonna turn off our heat press, then at 400 degrees. And there we go. This is my lucky day. And so, um, yeah, you get this really cool, there's that like sequiny texture, that glitter, um, and the, the plaid type design, again, with like the distressing that would be super hard to weed. Um, and then you get all that, um, you know, fun, you know, background design there too. So um, let's see, I am going to try and put these side by side. I'm going to take some pictures of them too after the live. And, oh, we do have some questions. Let me check. Um, Lisa's asking, are these transfers available from you? So the paper that I used is just printable. So it's the Starcraft for light materials. And then you can print, um, you know, any design. I chose some of the uh, St. Patrick's Day design from the uh, bundle of bundles. And, um, but really anything you can print, you could. Let's turn this over, over here. Sorry, my desk is a mess, but. Um, and then, oh, Amanda's saying, I don't know what sublimation does. Okay, so sublimation is basically um, a special ink and paper that will um, transfer a design onto a polyester surface. Um, so here we go. Uh, this is a polyester shirt. Um, it, there are special like polyester coated mugs and um, uh, coasters, license plates, you know, all sorts of things that you can sublimate onto. And then um, Claire's asking, why not use applique sheets? There is a waxy film on the wax paper, just curious. Oh, I'm actually using parchment paper, so um, mine doesn't have like that waxiness from the um, wax paper. Um, so if the uh, applique sheets are like that, then um, then I'm, I'm sure you could probably use those too. Parchment, the, I just get the stuff from the grocery store, so it's often very inexpensive. Um, oh, Sabrina, thank you so much. She said, it's very beautiful. I'm impressed with the details of the ink. I know, it looks pretty darn cool. I probably should have done maybe the same design so I could get a true representation of the differences, but I think it actually looks, um, I think they both look pretty good. Um, so I'll take some pictures in better lighting so you can really get a, you know, see the differences between the two. Um, but uh, thank you so much, everyone. I'll flip the camera around so I can just say, say goodbye. And thanks for watching. Um, I uh, am using designs from the bundle of bundles. So um, again, that is just um, bundle of bundles 4.0. It's this is always a really popular um, um, bundle because we you get so many designs for such. The, I think this one is 99% off, um, and then you get a, just a variety of different things. So um, St. Patrick's Day. I know there's um, all the other you know all the other holidays in there too. Um, and just a lot of different projects. I mean, just think of all the possibilities. So everything that I've used, I've linked in the description. It's hot in here <laughs> from my heat press, so I'm a little warm. Uh, but anyway, have a um, great rest of your day, and then um, we'll see you next time. Bye.